Guys and gals, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the offset tool to once again, uh, I guess, copy that shape that's on the surface and move it in or out. And then we're going to uh, actually cut away the hole on the inside. Um, not all the way, but just partial. So here's what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to start with our same view that we're in. Reminder that uh, what we're working in right away here is we're going to be into our uh, offset tool. And the offset tool is in the push pull group, and it's the second thing down, or the third thing down, sorry. Um, I go in and I click on the surface. Uh, yesterday, or the earlier video, we had done, uh, I think, 10 millimeters. Uh, this time, what we're going to do is we're going to do about half of what we have going on here. So we're going to go 25. Enter. Oh. What we found out right there is it's working from both sides. So if we go 25, it's all the way gone, all right? So we can't ever split the difference that way if it's if it's 50 or less. Um, so what we're doing here is we're gonna come in from the edge and we're gonna go four this time, all right? And that gives me a four millimeter uh, cutaway all the way around. I'm gonna do the same thing on my circle. Four millimeters, enter. And the same thing on my triangle. All right, so this one was 10, this one was four. As you can see, there's quite a difference that way. Um, not quite double, I should've done five. Wasn't that thoughtful in the video. All right, so now the next thing is we're gonna use the push-pull tool again to actually cut away this material this time. Instead of pulling it down the outside, we're gonna pull down the inside. All right, so push-pull tool, I select it, I move in the direction I want it to move. I could click again here, or I could just type in the number 25, All right? Whenever I'm typing, I always let go of my mouse so I don't actually bump it, because if I bump it, it will reset my number or move it, make it move again. Enter. Now, you can barely see the surface down there, um, but if I wanted to, I could orbit to kind of see what's happening that way. Remember, if you're not using a mouse, which I strongly suggest doing, uh, the orbit tool is down here, the top one, all right? Now, once again, back into the push-pull tool, I'm gonna do the same thing two more times. So the push-pull tool, grabbing this, sliding down. Um, I don't have to go back to my uh, isometric view. I can do it from this view um, as well. So sliding down, I could click here, type in 25 millimeters. Enter. I don't have to type in the, the actual, I guess, unit um, unless uh, I'm changing units. I, I could sketch up smart where I can type in inches and it convert it to millimeters for me. Um, and then lastly here, we're going to clean out this inside of the triangle. So selecting that, sliding down, and then typing 25 and hitting enter. All right. Now, if we go to the top view, uh, it looks like we have some drawings of inner circles, but if we go ISO, you can see that we have removed some parts of those things. Just a little different way than the first time. All right, so now we have little pockets that we took out. Okay, I uh, hope this video helps help you learn something. Um, in the next video, we're going to punch a hole all the way through. Thanks for watching.